Welcome back to the Red Booth Show. I'm here with Neil Brown Jr. So you've we've been talking about some of the big shows that you're on, like mm -hmm. SEAL Team, and yes. obviously there's another big one too, mm -hmm. Insecure, that you you were in. Yes. Um, now yes. this show is so funny, Thank and you. I came up from what I actually heard about this show originally through a web festival. That, oh yeah. Yeah, it was like this. Oh yeah, the uh, the web series that it was the um, uh, awkward black girl. That's right. Yeah, Issa Rae, she did that. It was like an internet, like a YouTube thing she did. Uh, got a lot of hits. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, her and Prentice Penny and uh, Melina Matisukas got together. And, you know, we're like, hey, let's make this at HBO. She had another show, I think actually at ABC, um, which was kind of based on something similar. And um, it didn't work out. She didn't. They, they, the connection wasn't made that they needed to make to make the show to actually get it on the air. So then she went to HBO and um, man, they based it off her Awkward Black Girl. And it's funny, man. Issa, Issa Rae and uh, Yvonne, Orgy and Jay Ellis, all those guys. Um, they're great. They're and, so funny. Oh, uh, they're insanely funny. And I'm, I'm fortunate I get to come in, pop in for a few episodes, yeah. do my song and dance, uh, and get to play with these guys who are all very professional, very awesome. But what's really funny about that is that you play a jerk in the show. Am I? What? <laughs> he's not a jerk. He's, he's kind of a jerk. He's, he's, but he's you're such a nice eccentric. guy, so I'm like, oh my God. But. No, Chad is a, um, a fast talking, you know, um, young rich guy who you know he came from the bottom he, he made his money yeah and, uh, the thing people don't realize he, he's, he doesn't talk that fast just because he's like a nasty guy he's a really high IQ and he's done with a conversation before you start that's probably why he's a jerk a little bit well also because I sympathize with Issa's character because ah. she's the girl and she's coming up and you know your homies with the with the her ex or ex, whatever yes. so maybe that's why maybe you know it's funny the perspective to look at it man you know this story <laughs> for me insecure is the story of well, you know what turns a good guy bad mm -hmm. you know um let's just be honest here uh he was a faithful man who was trying to get his life together was working hard and then she went and cheated on him i know i mean it's not right it's not right it's and true. then so he goes to his boy yeah <laughs> who really you know Chad can't really express his emotions, not that he really has emotions to express. Um, but uh, I think he does actually feel deep, but he just has guards up. He protects you know, him. He protects himself with, with his speech and his, his brain and his intellect, right? Um, uh, but it's a really know, funny show, by the it's, way. No, it's, it's, it's so it's hilarious. hilarious. Yeah. And, and we have a good time. I have a tons of fun playing that character. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he's just, you know, he missed his boy. And uh, now he's actually kind of happy because he's engaged to be married. You know, uh, mm -hmm. and um, he gets to live vicariously through uh, Jay Ellis's character, Lawrence, as he's now a new single man. And now he's trying to tell him how to be, like, how to go out and date. And everything. Yeah, you know, he's trying to be, he's yeah. trying to have his back. You know, he wants him to go have fun. He, I just think he thinks that Lawrence could do better. You know, it's like that quintessential friend that's like, ah, oh, you can do better, you can do better. Yeah. No one's good enough for you, you're my homie, but he won't say it like that. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, and uh, I think he gives sound advice. Some people... Like, Chad is the worst. I'm like, no. <laughs> if you listen closely, most of that stuff is sound advice. Like when he told Lawrence, and when Lawrence forgot Issa's birthday, he was like, well, you told me you didn't care about it. And he's like, no, I, I said I forgot his, her birthday. And he was like, well, that's kind of the same thing, right? If you forgot her birthday, you don't care about her, correct? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's kind of true. How could you forget your wife's or your your, your girlfriend's birthday? That He's you just live calling with? out the obvious, I guess. One hundred percent. He's that go. friend that will call you out on on your mess. The script writing in this is so funny, and it's a lot of it is by Issa, right? Yeah, she's very much the of, original yeah. writer. Yeah. Yeah, Issa, Prentice Penny, all those guys. Um, they Natasha uh, Roth. She plays one of the characters on the show. Um, they, you know, I've been in their room where they're writing and they're so funny and the ideas that they, they throw out. I'm, I'm in awe of how they write Chad because the stuff he says is just so crazy. And, you know, he speaks very fast. And Prentice, anytime I want to take a pause, I'm like, oh, can I breathe a little bit? You know, just, can I, you know, just slow it they down They tell you to say it that way, huh? And Prentice is like, no, nah, man, no. Nah. This is the way Chad talks. <laughs> breathe through it. Because he doesn't, you know, he, he's already done with the conversation. And uh, so that's the one challenge, learning that. Sometimes I have to learn that stuff like the day before, the night of. Oh my God. Um, uh, because, you know, for my other jobs and, and whatnot. 
Um, That's got to uh, be one of the hardest line. things, though, is like memorizing the lines and everything. And yeah, saying them authentically and saying saying them that fast and remembering how to be that guy who who really doesn't care what you think. Right. <laughs> I was gonna say, he doesn't give up. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. But 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 then again, he does. So it, it's a lot of stuff to play with, and I'm very fortunate that um, it keeps me on my toes. Mm-hmm. Same thing with all the shows I've been doing. I've been. Definitely be keeping me on my toes. They're all very interesting characters. Yes, I love it. It's very cool. Yeah. And do we, so we're going to be seeing more of this show coming out soon. Oh yeah, Insecure. I, I believe it comes out in August. Yeah, it comes awesome. out in August, and uh, you guys have to tune in and watch it. It's going to be funny. I, I've right. heard it's going to be uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. It already <laughs> is uncomfortable. <laughs> it's, it's mega, well, that's the thing. They're flawed and insecure, and they're not perfect. It's so and, real. Yeah, exactly. It really is. That's so what's real. very important to Issa. Yes. Yeah. You know about the show and all the characters that they're yeah. they're not perfect they're fundamentally flawed she's Human. she's great she's yeah. so great okay well we have to take another quick break Copy that. and we will be back with neil brown jr okay so i'm talking with neil brown jr but we have more to say so click on our next video right here